This New Testament character was a Pharisee, a member of a religious society that opposed Jesus and his teachings. We are told in the Gospel of John that Jesus referred to this man, however, as a master of Israel, indicating his influence on the society of his day. But who was Nicodemus, and why is he important to the story of Lent and Easter? There are three encounters with Nicodemus recorded in Scripture. The first incident occurred when Nicodemus approached Jesus at night, searching for clues to his person and power. Jesus told this Pharisee that a man must be born again. Nicodemus was puzzled and asked how a man could be born when he is old, to which Jesus responded that a man must be born of water and of spirit to enter the kingdom of God. We meet Nicodemus for the second time in Scripture at the Feast of Tabernacles. Jesus created a stir with his words to those gathered at the feast. You shall seek me and not find me, Jesus said, referring to his ascension. And where I am, you cannot come. If you are thirsty, come to me and drink, Jesus said. For out of the belly of he that believes in me shall flow rivers of living water. Some at the feast believed Christ's words, while others questioned whether he was the Messiah spoken of by the prophets. For Christ was from Galilee, and the prophets said he should come from Bethlehem. Some in the crowd called for Jesus to be arrested. And when the chief priests and Pharisees were asked why they would not do so, it was Nicodemus who spoke up, saying, Does our law judge any man before it hears him and knows what he does? The third time Nicodemus appears in Scripture is after the death of Christ. He came with the burial spices that would be used to prepare Christ's body for placement in the tomb. This passage in the Gospel of John is significant because it mentions that Nicodemus first came by night, indicating the importance of that earlier conversation as the life-changing event that brought Nicodemus to the cross. Little is known about the life of Nicodemus after his last recorded appearance in Scripture. Church tradition asserts that he died as a martyr for the cause of Christ. Thus, he is celebrated as a saint in the Roman Catholic and Eastern Orthodox churches. Regardless, Nicodemus is important for his role in asking the question that led to one of the most beloved and well-quoted verses in Scripture. As Jesus proclaimed, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life.